Hey, it is Tamara, and you just have to love technology sometimes. So I've been struggling with Zoom, getting Zoom to um, be in our group, right? And first of all, it couldn't find the group. Don't ask me why it found 80 million other groups that I'm in, not the ones that I run, but like the ones that I'm in, but it couldn't find the ones that I am like the admin of. And then today it could find the group, but then when I said go live, it said, you do not have permission to go live. And I'm like, okay, but I pay for this. So anyway, and then I go to my phone, right? So I can do a Facebook live and it won't let me turn the phone. <laughs> It'll only stay straight up and down. <laughs> Technology is not my friend today. Anyway, rant over. This is Tamara with RV Goldie Family. And last week we talked about, um, uh, what did we talk about? We talked about, um, hacks with essential oils um maybe ways to use your oils that <clears throat> you don't know about right in in different ways for different things and um what's really nice about that is that you know with all the oils you have <coughs> excuse me you have different ways that you can use them and different benefits that you can get from them because everybody's makeup is different. And so what works for you may not work for another person. Um, and you may need to tweak it a little bit. And so it's kind of nice to have all these options, right? That you can choose from if you don't have an oil, right? Um, and you need some help with something in particular. I'm gonna plug in my headphones here. Hang on just a second. There we go. I feel like the sound is nicer if I do that. Don't ask me why I did that. Oh my God. <laughs> it's Monday. <laughs> I just plugged my headphones into my computer. I am not live on my computer. I am live on my phone. Never mind. We won't do the headphones today. <laughs> wow. Wow. It's a Monday. Okay. So we went last week, we went, um, a through F. And so we're going to start with G today and we'll see how far we get today. So we just do about 20, maybe 30 minutes. Um, so let me bring up my notes here. There we go. Um, so we are starting with, oh darn it, that's not what I want. Let's do that. There we go. And then give me this one. I'm actually going to move you over so you're out of the way of my notes here. Okay, so we are going to start with G, which is um, grapefruit. Grapefruit is one of the citrus oils, right? And so remember when you use it that you want to make sure and not be out in the direct sun, right? Like don't apply it to the back of your neck and then go lay in the sun or whatever because um, it can cause uh, photosensitivity and kind of a burn. So grapefruit is great to do with dry brushing. I don't know if you've ever dry brushed before, um, but you can use, um, it's a long handled brush, kind of like, you know, if you're gonna scratch your back kind of thing, but it's a, usually a long handled brush. You can buy them on Amazon. Some of them have short handles. Um, the bristles are softer than like what a hairbrush is or um, just search on Amazon for like dry brushing. Um, Anyway, you put the oil, you put a couple of oil drops on the uh, brush and then you brush. And what the dry brushing does is it really helps your lymph system to keep moving and so it's not stagnant. Um, it also gets off um, dead skin cells. So usually you want to stand like in the shower, not with the water on, but just stand in the shower. And then use your brush and you start at your feet and you work towards your heart. Um, over your more sensitive areas, like maybe your neck here, which is the skin tends to be a little um, finer um, on your face is a little finer. Usually I don't do my face. I, I start with my neck and go down. Um, so everything from the bottom goes up towards your heart and then it's your shoulders you're brushing down towards your heart, okay? Um, usually you start with your feet, work up your legs, your knees, um, your stomach, 
your backside right as far up as you can reach and then starting with your arms you're going to kind of brush down you know do your do your palms in the back of your hands too um your neck and make sure you get underneath here because that's a big lymph area right there right to help um drain especially for women um and especially if you're using a antiperspirant versus a deodorant because the antiperspirant actually blocks any sweating so to speak right so you don't sweat and i i get that i i get why people like that right because you don't want the sweaty underarms and whatever but it's a natural thing and your body needs to do that that's how that's one of the ways that it gets rid of toxins and so deodorant is always better um doTERRA has quite a few um unfortunately they don't work for me i do use another one i don't remember even where it's from it's got blue tansy in it and something else um uh Anyway, find a deodorant that works for you. They also have, I know they also have um, salt. I think it's pink. There's a salt one that is supposed to, that works for people. Some of the oils I think that we talked about last weekend, uh, last weekend, last Monday, um, would be great to use as a, as a deodorant if you've forgotten yours, right? Um, but grapefruit is great for dry brushing to help with um, the appearance of cellulite because as you're moving the lymph um, drainage around and then also smoothing your skin, it just helps to, to do that. Uh, HD Clear, that is the, um, there's a roller of HD Clear, there's a face wash, and I think there's a face lotion also, there's three pieces. Um, but the HD Clear Roller, is really good as a deodorant. Again, it's really good for if you have acne prone skin and um, so kind of, you know, your teenage years or unfortunately, sometimes that can happen in your 20s and 30s and 40s. Um, if you have acne prone skin, that's a good uh, system to use is the HD Clear. But the roller can be uh, beneficial as a deodorant and then it may also reduce occurrences of sebaceous cysts in your armpits if you get those. So give that a try. Um, the hydrating cream um, is really good as a spot treatment for eczema because it's really hydrating and eczema can be really itchy and dry, right? Um, and so that can be helpful with that. A lot of times with the hydrating cream, I will add, it's got some great oils in it. I don't know what they are right off the top of my head. I, I know there's frankincense in there. There might even be helichrysum. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but it's a great product by itself. But I always, you know, you always want to add some things to it. And so I tend to add... Um, blue tansy and yarrow palm, which are both excellent, excellent oils for um, your skin. So, um, and then we are up to Emortel. Now, Emortel comes in a roller bottle. It's one of those roller bottles that is 100% essential oils. There's no fraction of coconut oil in it. So you want to make sure that you, if you're using that roller bottle and you're using it in the same spot consistently on a daily basis, right? You want to make sure you dilute it. Um, and so when I get my roller bottle of um, Emortel, I will get either two or three other empty roller, bo roller bottles and I will pop the roller top off and then spread it out between those so they all have the same amount-ish, right? Kind of eyeballing it, um, of the oils in it and then I'll fill it up with whatever your choice of um, carrier oil. Um, if you're going to, you know, if you're mostly using it for your skin, maybe you want to do like um, jojoba oil. If you're, um, if you have fractionated coconut oil, that's a great choice, right? Because there's no fragrance to that. And um, hey, Donna. And so that's a, that's a big, uh, a big one that's used by a lot of people with essential oils because there is no fragrance to fractionated coconut oil. Um, anyway, then you have four, three or four more rollers, right? Out of that one roller bottle they're already diluted so you don't have to worry about diluting it every time you use it um, that's another great one to use as deodorant it's a great one um, to help with your lymph health um, it can if you apply it to your big toe it is very helpful for night terrors for little ones I know um, my oldest son had a problem with that he would just it's just it's weird right it's and it comes right out of the blue and you're like I don't even know what to do um, so that can help with that if you apply that to their big toe before they go to bed um, it can also help with TMJ discomfort um, and then if you apply it um, in the morning and at night around the perimeter of your eye 
you know, around your eye socket. Obviously, we're never putting oils in our eyes, but if you apply it around your eye socket, um, that can help with your eye health. A lot of people have reported um, that their eyesight has improved um, with using that on a consistent basis. And then it's also really good for um, stretch marks. So uh, juniper berry is great for dark circles under your eyes. If you tend to have the dark circles under your eyes, um, you can dilute that with a little bit, maybe the hydrating cream, right? Or um, your moisturizer that you use and then just tap that underneath. I think you're supposed to use your ring finger because it's like the, the weakest one so you're not pulling on your skin. Just kind of tap it underneath. Uh, juniper berry, wild orange, and cedarwood. Again, those are good for sleep. You, so you could put the, a blend of that in the diffuser. Um, you could make a roller bottle, roll it on your bottoms of your feet, up and down your spine. Um, and then it's also good for nightmares, nightmares and night terrors. Same thing, okay? Um, lavender, right? Love lavender. Um, there are two more days left for the BOGOs, and you can buy lavender right now and you get peppermint for free. But um, lavender is great for um, add a drop to your mascara. Um, it is good to condition your lashes, lashes and it's also really good for antibacterial. Um, so it will kind of help with the bacterial growth in there. You can also add a drop of rosemary to your mascara. That helps with lash growth. I actually made a little, um, I bought one of the empty uh, mascara tubes from uh, Amazon. And I put uh, rosemary, what did I put in there? I put rosemary and cedarwood and I think lavender. Maybe maybe peppermint, I'm not sure if I put peppermint in there. Um, anyway, I've been using that on my uh, brows and my lashes and I do notice that they seem to be growing better. Yay! Um, you can also use lavender apply to the roof of your mouth or your tongue to help um, soothe burns. You can apply it topically right too, right? If you grab a, a pan and, and it's just too hot, you shouldn't have grabbed it, right? Um, rinse it off in cold water and then apply directly to it. Um, inhale for hiccups. That one I have not tried, but peppermint works well for me if you put a drop of peppermint in your mouth and then like take a big breath in and I think it's because you're, it just like wakes you up right so it takes your mind off of your diaphragm spasming which is what hic hiccups are um anyway I'll have to try lavender next time um and then it's also really good for wasps and fire ant ants in the garden um if you happen to get stung by a wasp or if you have fire ants that bite you in your garden we don't we have a lot of ants on our new piece of property i will say that there's a lot of ant hills a lot of ant hills um lavender and frank together if you layer those they are helpful to remove splinters um so you're going to layer it and then you're going to cover it with a band-aid and then the splinter will kind of work its way out make it easier i know on guard is good for that and clove is good for that also uh, lavender and tea tree. Um, you can add that to a spray bottle of water and spritz your hair before school. That will help with those lovely little things that get passed at school. So, yeah. Um, and then lemon. Lemon's good for so many things, just like so many things. Um, it is helpful to remove marker, crayons, and scuff marks off of your walls or off of your floor or off of your counter or off of your cabinets. <laughs> It and it also helps to remove sticky goo. We used to have these um, pads on the bottom of our dining room table chairs, and you know, as you slide them in and out, they'll kind of move, and you have to replace them every so often. Anyway, I end up with this sticky stuff on the floor, and a drop of that worked like so well. I would just kind of go around and dab, and then leave it, you know, a little bit, maybe five minutes, and then go back and wipe it with a paper towel, and it always came on and off. It's very cool. Um, good for removing gum from your hair. I've seen people do that with lime also. Um, remove stickers, medical tape, and spray paint. It also is helpful to remove, um, tree sap from the hands. I did a video. I got slug stuff. You know, slug stuff that you can't get off your hands. It's gross. I don't even know why I had it on my hands, why I touched the slug, but I did. Um... I'll have to go back and look and see what, what oil I use. I don't know if it was lemon. It could have been. Maybe it was another citrus. I'll, I will go back and look for that. 
Um, removes paint from tires, wheels, and wood floors. You can use it with vinegar in the rinse cycle um, in place of fabric softener. I tend to just use vinegar by itself because I have it in there. Uh, you can rub it on your gums for food aftertaste to take that away. It's a great degreaser, right? So if you feel like maybe your laundry, not laundry, your dish soap is not quite cutting it, right? Um, you can always add a drop or two or three or four to your bottle. You can dilute it for hair dye removal on your skin and then follow that with fractionated coconut oil. You can, ooh, did not know that. I've, I have always used On Guard before I cut onions so that you don't cry, right? Um, this one says to swipe under nose before cutting onions. I wonder if you just breathed it out of the bottle and then set it down and cut. I've done that with On Guard too. Um, it is great for, um, ooh, if you tap the top of the bottle, right? Because it has that little orifice reducer in there and um, just tap the top. There's always oil left after you've had some drops out of it. Um, and then apply it to the edges of your nose to stop a drippy nose. I know lavender works really well that way too. Uh, great for a fruit and veggie cleaner. Any of the citrus oils are gonna be really good. I tend to put my you know, strawberries and whatever in a bowl and I'll add, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, nine drops to the bowl and then I'll let them sit for about 15 minutes and then just rinse them off. Works fabulous every time. Uh, spot remover for clothes. And then you can add two drops in your washer for uh, to help with whiter clothes. So if you're using your whites, okay. Lemon and lavender together. Hey, Mary. Um, great to mix with fractionated coconut oil to clean stainless steel. So you could have your little cloth out, right? And you could put a drop of lavender and lemon on it and then add a little bit of fractionated coconut oil and then clean your stainless steel stuff. Lemon or wild orange is great um, to add to hot water to help remove wallpaper paste residue. There you go. Okay, and then we're up to the M's here. So we got marjoram. If you do uh, two drops internally under, under your tongue, right? That can help with sleep. And if you do, um, I don't know, maybe two to four drops, um, under your tongue that can help with um, severe pain. It's a good uh, pain reliever oil. If you don't like the taste of it, you could put it in a veggie cap, but the sublingual, you know, underneath your tongue tends to get where it needs to go faster. Uh, motivate, there's our motivation blend, right? Um, that is can be helpful for headaches. It can be helpful for focus, um, you know, kind of brings everything in and then it can also be helpful for um, digestive support if you don't have your peppermint or your fennel or your digest zen right you can use that the mud mask doTERRA has this wonderful clay mud mask that does so well um, as a mask for your face to help um, draw out the impurities and things like that, right? But it also can be used as a detox on the bottom of your feet and armpits twice a week. Um, again, like, like I said before, you know, your armpits are a good source of getting rid of when you're sweating, that helps to get rid of the toxins and things. And so that's what that detox does also. Um, it can be helpful for stopping itching. Um, an acne spot treatment can be helpful if you somehow get poison ivy. And then it can also help to stop the itching of spider bites if you get a spider bite. Myrrh, besides being really good at any sort of weepy skin thing that you have going on because it's a drying oil, um, it's also really good for puffy eyes. If you wake up and your eyes are puffy, right? You could just dab your finger on the top. Um, I'd probably use a little bit of lotion or fractionated coconut oil, whatever you want to use, and then dab around the puffiness. Um, neroli. Neroli is in a roller, right? It's in the touch roller. It can be used as lip gloss. I haven't even thought about that. I may have to try that. Um, on guard. And this one, again, it says open a bottle next to the cutting board when you're cutting onions. Um, and I have done a swipe underneath my nose before, and it does work. It's like, it's really nice. 
um, rubbed on your gums for oral health. I know um, my daughter had a uh, sore on the inside, and it was on the inside of her, on her, on her, uh, inside your mouth, right, and then gums, and um, it was really, really painful, and it was really big, and <laughs> that's what she had. And so I said, you know, dab your finger on the top. Da -da. She said it hurt. It stung, right? But then it went numb. And she said it literally disappeared within two days. And it was gone. So definitely good. You can apply that to a new furnace filter. So then when the air gets going through your house, right? It's also doing that kind of like a natural diffuser. Um, on guard and tea tree in the diffuser are really good to help with black mold to help get that out of the air. Okay, so you're not breathing it in because it's those mold spores that are not good for you. Um, so On Guard and Tea Tree together. On Guard Cleaner Concentrate. I love that stuff. It's like, I love that stuff. Um, it's great for cleaning bath toys. You can soak or spray them down after each use. Um, you can make a laundry stain remover. Um, so if you put it in a roller bottle, you could carry that with you. So if you spilled something on yourself, right, you could roll that in your clothes. It's not going to take it away while you're in your clothes, right? But it will help to not have it set in the fabric. So then when you go to wash it, it'll come out easier. Uh, clean windows. You want to wipe them with newspaper, right? So you don't get the residue of like paper towels and things. Um, great for carpet cleaner. I've used that in our shampooer before that we had in our house. Um, literally all I did, it's just a regular shampooer, right? Not a whatever. It's just a regular shampooer with that container on the top that, that you fill with water and the, and the, um, soap that you're using. And I would use just the cap, just a cap full, the cap full that comes on the cap that comes on the cleaner concentrate. I would put that in there and then fill it up with hot water. Worked great. Smelled fabulous. <laughs> and it was really good at getting the stains off the floor. Um, Great to degrease man's hands. Um, you can also add a, so you're going to add a dime size amount of that in the palm of your hand and then about four drops of lemon and have them, you know, if you, if they've been out working on cars or anything, you know, equipment, anything that's really greasy can be helpful for that. You can add lemon and use as a laundry detergent if you run out. Um, I also have a stain spray that I do I guess it's not the cleaner concentrate, it's the laundry detergent, but you could use either or. Um, I fill, it's a four ounce, no. Yes, it's a four ounce bottle. I fill half of it with either the, the cleaner concentrate or the laundry detergent, um, the On Guard, right? And then I'll add, um, I think 10 drops of like lemon. I'll have to go look at that. I'll have to go look at my recipe. Anyway, makes a really good stain spray. You just, you know, in a little spray bottle, spray it on there. Um, on Guard Foaming Hand Soap. You can use that to do your fruit and veggie wash if you don't have your oils handy. Um, the On Guard Hand Sanitizer, the spray. I suppose you could use the gel, but I think it's more for the spray. It can be used as a deodorant. Um, the On Guard Laundry Detergent. You can fill a 10 milliliter roller about halfway and then add white vinegar to it um, and then use that as a stain stick. Try that out. Let me know. Um, works great in the dishwasher. I have not tried that in the dishwasher. I've tried the other in the dishwasher. And then it helps to uh, clean the outside windows if you dilute it in a spray bottle. Um, on Guard Spray. I take it that's the sanitizing spray. Yes. Did you know that you can spray your throat if your throat is um, sore and not feeling well? Yeah. Um, and then spray on cuts and scrapes. Um, it might sting a little bit, right? Because it's got some, it's got clove and cinnamon and some hot oils in there. So just know that in advance. The On Guard Toothpaste. That can be helpful for polishing tarnished silver. Um, it can be helpful for scrubbing glass top stoves and fireplace doors. I didn't use that on my, we had a wood stove, right, in our house before we moved. I didn't use that, but I did use the concentrated cleaner. And what I did, <laughs> I saw this idea from someone else, right? Everything's just ideas from someone else. Um, 
it the bottle the the bottle that the spray cleaner comes in right i found spray tops that fit right on it so it's not diluted it's just i stuck a spray top on it instead of the little flip top that they had and <clears throat> i would spray the the door the um wood stove door and then just wipe it off hey hands down the best cleaner i've ever found um but try the on guard toothpaste if you want see if that works or even on your glass top i'd be curious i don't have a glass top stove i i don't like glass top stoves i don't i i don't i'm i'm a propane person i like a propane stove i like a gas stove um <coughs> excuse me you can use it <coughs> as a poultice it helps to relieve soreness and inflammation um, for horse injuries. There you go for you horse people um, and humans too. You can apply it to your nails and then buff. Um, it can be used as a acne spot treatment overnight. And then it's also good for jewelry cleaner. So if you had like a, a toothbrush that you're not brushing your teeth with, right? And you put a little and maybe dilute it a little bit more and then massage it on your little one's gums. Uh, on guard soft gels, you can pop and squeeze those into a small dram, one of the little, you know, like sample size bottles, um, can be helpful for cold sores. You can also add a couple of drops of, uh, Melissa to help with that. I've also taken the on guard soft gels and made like a immune roller. And I think I took, I don't know, four of them. And I popped them with a pan and then squeezed them into a 10 ml roller and filled it up with fractionated coconut oil. And then that's one of my, you know, rollers we use before bed on the bottoms of your feet or up and down your spine just to help keep all the ickies away. All right. So oregano, that is helpful for removing warts. If you have uh, warts, whether they're on your hands or the bottoms of your feet, you can use it that way. Uh, basically, you you can use it with a Q-tip. It is a hot oil. Um so you're going to do a Q-tip and then put your Band-Aid over the top. And it may take repeated applications, okay? But it does work. Uh, our Passion Blend is if you are overly tired, that can be super helpful to help you, you know. Because what it does is it is it really brings out your, um, your creativity and your uh, passion about doing things. And so if you're overly tired, it will help to, you know, wake you up so that you and give you that little boost. Um, it can be helpful for hormone, hormonal balance, um, for sinus headaches, if you have sinus headaches, right? Because your sinuses are full. Um, and it can be helpful for joint relief if you roll over your joints, okay? Um, past tense, great to help with bug bites and bee stings besides head tension and headaches, right? Um, you can apply down the spine to help relax tense muscles. And then it also helps with um, drain, to help drain your ears. If your little ones have clogged ears, right? And they've got some pain going on. Um, roll it behind the, um, on the bone that's behind the ear and then in front and then massage down their neck because that's where it drains down that way. Peace can be helpful for fertility support. You would just apply it topically. And then also for um, after birth support, if you had a, you know, maybe a hard labor, um, you could use that on the bottoms of your feet. All right. Peppermint. Apply one drop to your collarbone for easy breathing at night. You can add a drop to your lip gloss for, uh, to make it like a lip plumper. Like we got the new um, lip gloss. I think it sold out from doTERRA, the holiday one. Uh, but if you have a regular lip gloss, just add a drop in there um, and then use that. Brings the kind of brings the blood to your to your lips and so kind of plumps them up. Uh, you can add a drop in the toilet for constipation. That is a well-known fact. So if your little one also isn't necessarily constipated, but they just have a hard time going, they're learning to go, right? You can put a drop of peppermint in the toilet. So there you go. Uh, peppermint soft gels are helpful also for those who um, need support with Crohn's or IBS because they get down to where they need to go, okay? And don't open up in your stomach. The protecting shampoo and conditioner is great for shaving cream. 
Uh, it's great for a bubble bath, the shampoo. Um, it is great for body wash, face wash, and hand wash. So if you're out of your body wash, your face wash, and hand wash, you could use the shampoo for that. Uh, Purify. The thing that takes all the stink out of everything. <laughs> I, I don't really care for how Purify smells, but it works so well at taking the odor out of everything. Um, so it is great for chigger and insect bites, if you happen to get those. Hey, Michaela. It also can, if you washed your clothes and you forgot about them, ever done that? <laughs> um, if you left them in the washer too long and they kind of smell a little funky, um, add a couple of drops in with the laundry detergent and just rewash it. Uh, you can, it is also good for mold. Um, Rob had a, used to have a, uh, what's that, fabric? One of those, canvas. He used to have a canvas tent that he would take um, for hunting season and it had a little bit of mold on it. And so we put the diffuser, we put it up outside in the summer, um, the tent, and we put a diffuser in there and we ran um, On Guard and Purify. And that really helped to kill any of that, you know, that was still in the in the um, canvas. You can also use Purify um, on your furnace, on a new furnace filter, right? Again, because it would go throughout the house. Uh, for stuffy hotel rooms, you can apply with citrus oils to cotton balls and place in the hotel air vent. Ooh, I never thought of that. I actually take a spray. It's like the same, it's a repurposed bottle from the On Guard hand spray. Um, I take a spray with eucalyptus and lavender and just water. And I get to I get to any hotel that I'm staying at and I whip the covers back and I spray the heck out of it because it's really good at deterring any little uh, bugs that might be there that maybe you don't want there, right? Um, so yeah, that's that's what I do. I spray down everything. Um, it's also Purify can be helpful for blemishes and blackheads and then again for splinter removal. You're going to put it on there and it'll help the splinter to make its way back out. Um, okay. Let's see where are we at. We're going to stop. So we went all the way through the P's. We'll start with the R's next week. Okay. Um, if you have a hack for any of the doTERRA products that you have used before and you want to share that, we would love it. Go ahead and share it in the comments. And, um, so next week, We'll be back continuing our talk on hacks of uh, doTERRA products that you can use for, you know, in different ways. And yeah, you guys have a great week. It is Thanksgiving week. Have a great Thanksgiving on Thursday. And um, yeah, we'll be back next week. All right. Talk to you later.